Good morning, children, and uh, happy holidays for you. You're all off school now, and that's great. And uh, soon it's going to be Christmas and New Year's, and that is super exciting. Uh, I'm Pastor Dan. You know that probably. But anyways, it's good to see you and to talk to you. Um, today, for our children's message, I wanted to talk to you about... Um, some hand gestures. There are some really great hand gestures out there, like this one. Hi! Right? That's a hand gesture. Or this one. Two thumbs up! Right? That means something's really good, right? Or, okay! Okay, everybody! Okay! Good job! Okay! Right? Those are good hand gestures. Well, here's another hand gesture. It's like this. Do you know what that means, boys and girls? Uh, well, this means two different things, right? It can be the symbol for peace. Peace. Have peace, everybody. Peace. Right? It can also be the symbol for victory. You can see the V there for victory, right? And the reason that those are the same is that they are connected, right? Why do you think that victory and peace are connected. Well, victory and peace are connected because often in war, if you get victory over your enemy, then you can have peace. The war is over. It's done. And there is a way in which um, right now is a little bit like that. Everybody knows we're fighting against the coronavirus, right? And hopefully we will have victory over the coronavirus and that will give us peace too. But in the Bible, victory and peace, they're also connected, but in a kind of different way. The big thing that we need victory over so that we can have peace is we need victory over sin. The bad stuff that we do and the bad stuff that is in our hearts and in our minds. And we need victory against Satan and his bad angels, his fallen angels, which we call demons, right? We need victory over them so that we can have peace. But we also need victory, uh, as I started with, with our own sin and badness too. Because the truth is, is that we have kind of declared war against God. And that's not good, right? Hopefully, you and your family members have come to peace with God because you have accepted the love of Jesus in your life and because Jesus won a victory for us against sin and against Satan and against the demons and against our own yuckiness right? And even Jesus won a victory against death. The Bible tells us in this little letter called Philippians uh, that the peace of God that surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and minds. And this Sunday is the Sunday we talk about peace. And it is Jesus who is born as a little tiny baby so long ago, Jesus, who grew up just like you and me, who brings us peace from God, and that, that peace can go beyond everything in our outward lives. It goes beyond COVID, it goes beyond Satan, it goes beyond the yuck in our own lives. It is victory through Jesus who gives us peace that passes all understanding, and that peace guards our hearts. And so I pray 
for you and your families and all your friends and all your schoolmates that you will have that peace this year, that you will have that peace this holiday season, and that you will have that peace through Jesus Christ. All right, bye.